Although activity around ordinals and runes has slowed in recent months, the Bitcoin ecosystem has undeniably seen a resurgence. This time around, the buzz is surrounding Bitcoin staking. There are a few projects working in the space, but the latest one driving attention to this niche is Babylon. Fees on Bitcoin spiked to an eye-watering $105 per transaction moments after Babylon's first staking window went live. The deposit cap of 1,000 Bitcoin was reached in just a couple of hours. So in today's video, we'll introduce the emerging niche of Bitcoin staking and explain how Babylon works. While Bitcoin is the largest and most widely adopted crypto, it's a non-yielding asset, meaning that most Bitcoin held by people are just sitting idle in their wallets. This is in contrast to cryptos like Ethereum, which can be natively staked or deployed across various dApps to earn yield. Many Bitcoiners are happy with it staying as it is, but some are starting to question how Bitcoin can be more than just a store of value and become more useful. This eventually led to developments in the Bitcoin ecosystem like ordinals, BRC20s, runes, as well as layer twos and sidechains. However, they didn't tackle the issue of Bitcoin being a non-productive asset, despite it having the largest market cap in the space. Meanwhile, look around and you'll see no shortage of blockchains that use the proof of stake consensus mechanism, which offers native staking yield to those who lock up their tokens to help secure the network. Projects like Eigenlayer have gone even one step further, introducing the concept of restaking, where staked ETH is used not just for securing Ethereum, but also for other networks and dApps. In the last year or so, projects like CoreDAO, BitLayer, and more have emerged and provided various forms of Bitcoin staking for holders to earn yield, though we'll have to explore the mechanics behind these projects in another video. As for Babylon, it's similar to Eigenlayer, but for Bitcoin. Babylon plans to use Bitcoin as a staking asset to help secure and validate other POS chains, which could bring several benefits. One of them is the inherent security of the Bitcoin network itself, as it is secured by the world's largest mining network. Bitcoin is also not being used to secure its own network, which means that it has the potential to contribute to the security of other POS networks. Besides that, holdings of Bitcoin are more spread out across across different groups of entities compared to existing proof of stake native tokens. Using Bitcoin as a staking asset thus could help improve the decentralization of existing POS networks. On top of that, while the price of Bitcoin is volatile, it is less volatile than other POS assets and overall sees less downside during market downturns compared to altcoins. According to Babylon's team, this relative price stability of Bitcoin could better protect POS networks against potential security risks, such as 51% attacks that may arise from the price fluctuations of more volatile POS assets. To secure POS networks with Bitcoin, Babylon utilized Bitcoin's native features to create two key protocols, Bitcoin timestamping protocol and Bitcoin staking protocol. On the Bitcoin network, timestamps are exact times whenever a block is added to a blockchain, which ensure they are recorded in the correct order. Babylon's Bitcoin timestamping protocol uses Bitcoin's timestamps to determine the canonical chain that is the main chain of a POS blockchain. Basically put, it uses timestamp checkpoints to sync blocks of the Bitcoin blockchain with the other POS blockchains that are using Babylon for security. The chain with the oldest timestamp for its most recent block will be considered the main chain. In an event where POS blockchains experience an attack through a malicious fork, the malicious fork will have a more recent Bitcoin timestamp and therefore will never be chosen as the main chain. By using Bitcoin's immutable timestamps as an external source of truth, Babylon aims to shorten the lockup period for stake tokens from a few weeks 
down to a few hours. Another key component of Babylon is the Bitcoin staking protocol. Users of this protocol can lock up Bitcoin to participate in the validation of other POS chains and earn staking rewards in the process. Unlike conventional staking methods, however, Babylon users can stake Bitcoin to earn yield without their Bitcoin bridge to another chain or held in third party custody. Here's how Bitcoin staking on Babylon works. When someone stakes their Bitcoin, Bitcoin is locked up in a self custodian vault. Now, importantly, this vault is not a smart contract, but instead a UTXO that is created from the user's private key. Remember that UTXOs are like banknotes that represent a specific amount of Bitcoin. Additionally, this Bitcoin UTXO created is locked in the user's wallet for a specific period. After that, the UTXO is used to create a cryptographic tool called Extractable One-Time Signatures, or EOTS. This EOTS signature will then be used to validate transactions on POS blockchains. In return, users will earn staking rewards for their participation in securing these chains. Babylon users will be able to withdraw their Bitcoin stake after a specific bonding period is over. However, if a user wishes to unstake their Bitcoin early, they simply have to submit an unbonding transaction on Bitcoin and have their Bitcoin unlocked after a short period. In the event of a staker behaving maliciously, their EOTS is automatically exposed to the public, allowing other validators to submit a slashing transaction to burn their Bitcoin stake. This helps maintain the integrity of the Bitcoin staking protocol, where malicious actors get punished despite their Bitcoin never leaving their wallet from the start. The Bitcoin staking protocol allows POS networks to integrate Bitcoin's inherent security features by opting into Babylon as a modular plugin. We mentioned earlier that Babylon's first staking cap of 1000 Bitcoin was reached in just a couple of hours. However, at the time of shooting, these Bitcoin are only locked up and not yet being used to secure other POS networks. That said, Babylon is currently integrated with with the test nets of 50 different Cosmos chains with future plans to integrate with other chains, including Solana, Polygon, Atos, and more. On top of that, similar to Eigenlayer's restaking ecosystem, there are currently projects that are partnering up with Babylon, such as Solve, Lorenzo, Lombard, and more. These build on top of Babylon to facilitate deposits and provide other solutions such as liquid staking. Now, while Babylon sounds promising, Bitcoin staking is a rather new phenomenon involving new protocols with the ever-present risk of bugs or exploits. Besides that, using Bitcoin as a staking asset for POS chains could introduce an extra layer of complexity to their ecosystems. For example, if large amounts of Bitcoin is put to use for staking, it could affect its liquidity as a digital asset. For now, it's still too early to tell what potential downstream impacts could come from Bitcoin staking. So what's your take? Do you think it is good for Bitcoin to have more use cases? Or do you believe this is leading Bitcoin further away from the original vision by Satoshi? Well, let us know in the comments below. And if you found this video to be helpful, leave us a like and subscribe for future updates on the latest blockchain developments. See you in the next one. Bye.